Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel and the start of the Manga Love Readathon reading vlog that I'm doing this week. This readathon is hosted by Shay from Shay Geeks Out, so I'll leave her channel link down below. And I am have to go back to work really, really soon, but I wanted to go ahead and start the video by telling you guys what I want to read this week. Also, like, sorry if the lighting's really shitty. We just working with what we got. Okay, so the first thing is volume two of Prince Freya and the manga cut for this is Kiko Ishihara and I'm just gonna go through what I'm reading this week and then as I read I'll explain everything's about just so this intro isn't like hella long so volume two of Prince Freya and then I got this yesterday this is volume one of Kami Sama Kiss and this is by Julieta Suzuki very excited about this one. The cover is so cute. And then I have Me Love Me Not by Ayosaki Saka. I plan on reading the first four volumes of this. The first volume will be a reread and then I will be reading volumes two through four for the first time. Very excited about that. Okay, the next thing I have is um, After the Rain volumes one and two and this, I think these are like bind ups of maybe like two volumes. Not 100% sure. This is by June Maizuki. Very excited about this. I would like to read finally Sweat and Cell Volume 3 by Kintetsu Yamada. Very excited about this. I love Sweat and Soap. Yes. And then hopefully I want to finish Ruby. I am halfway through. Um, and this is by Bunta Kinami. I'm very excited about this one. Yes, Ruby. I love Ruby. Okay, and then I got this yesterday as well. This is Syrup. It is a Yuri anthology. Very, very excited about this. Tonight, after I get off work and shower, um, I want to read this and then finish Ruby. Those are the goals for tonight. But we have two more things to talk about that I want to read this week. And that would be Wotokoi, Love is Hard for an Otaku, and this is by Fujita. I want to read volumes 1, 2, and 3. Volume 4 should be coming out in October. Did get a notification that the delivery date got pushed back, so I'm not 100% sure, but I love this series, so I want to get caught up before I get volume 4. Very excited, and each one includes two different volumes in it. And then the last thing is Fruits Basket, Volumes 1, 2, 3, 4, the Collector's Edition. I've already read Volume 1. As you can see, it's tabbed up. Um, and then I'll be reading 2 through 4 for the first time. Very excited. Fruits Basket is by Natsuki Takaya. I love this, and I am so excited to continue on. So that's everything I plan on reading in this week and when I have something to update you on we'll talk then. Hello it's me your girl. It is now Tuesday afternoon and I'm on my lunch break so I figured I would eat my Panda Express orange chickie while we talk about what I read last night. It's delicious. So the first thing I read and finished was Ruby volume one and the manga cover this story and art by Bunta Kinami. So this is based on the show Ruby by Rooster Teeth. It follows our main character Ruby Rose and she is at Beacon Academy. And Beacon Academy is a place where people can go to train to be hunters or huntresses. And what they do when they become one of those is they hunt down and kill these creatures called Grimm. Um, this basically, the manga basically follows along with what happens in the first season. I'm not for sure if it's all the first season, because it's all a blur, because we binge like the first six seasons when we watched it. But I love it. I 100% recommend it. The show is amazing. The manga was good. Still really, really liked it. And just like, I'm back in my feels and remembering like why I love Ruby as much as I do. The next thing I read was Syrup Volume 1. This is a Yuri anthology. I liked, I gave it a four star. Oh, I forgot to mention I gave Ruby four stars as well. Um, 
there were a lot of good stories in here like the first one I didn't really care for because like it didn't give me enough um, but some of them I really really liked so there's this one called the cram school teachers here's some of the art um, this is by Mochi a lot um, and I did um, talk about this on Twitter and I linked all my favorite ones there um, so if you don't follow me on Twitter that's a good place to do it because I do post a lot and I will talk about um, what I'm reading okay and then the next one I really liked is called night flight and that was by Kawanami Izumi some of the art and then next one is called the abandoned cat in the lamp by Ohi Pikachi I really liked that one that one was cute and then the last one I really liked was called a first grown-up love and that was by Ito Hachi here's some of the art I do think my favorite one was the cram school teachers it was so cute I loved it a lot so I hope they come out with another volume of this because I actually really enjoyed it and then in the back it has all of the different mangaka so I do like want to look up the ones that I really like their stories and see what else they wrote so who published this seven seas was the publisher for this one so that's what I read last night so let's talk about what I plan to read tonight so I really really want to get done with sweat and soap volume three and this is by Kentetsu Yamada this is about our main character Asako and at the, the, in the very first volume she, you find out that she has had sweat and like body odor problems her whole life and she gets a job in the finance department at a place where the soap kind of masked that body odor and she loves it and she's way more comfortable using their products and one day she is looking at the spring line and our boy Taro like he smells something he's like what is that great smell I love it and it's her and he comes up to her and he's like can I you know come by and sniff you every single day for inspiration and she's like um yeah okay so then they start being friends and then that develops into feelings in a relationship and I love this series it's so cute y'all um it does have some sexy time so 18 and up please and then the next thing I want to read today is I think Prince Freya volume 2 and this is by Kiko Ishihara um so Prince Freya basically follows our main character Freya um and the prince of wherever she lives gets killed and no one knows about it and she looks just like him so she takes over the role of prince and no one knows it's her that's all i really want to say about it um because i don't want to give anything away and then i think maybe we're going to try to get kamisawa kiss volume one in as well and this is by julieta suzuki I don't know much about this. I literally just picked it up the other day at Barnes & Noble. So let's learn together. Because I don't know if you've watched any of my other vi videos, but I said this before. I read the synopsis once and then I immediately forget it. I read it and I'm like, well, that sounds really great. And then I just forget. So let's learn together. Nanimi Momozono is alone and homeless after her dad skips town to evade his gambling debts and the debt collectors kick her out of her apartment. So when a man she's just saved from a dog offers her his home, she jumps at the opportunity. But it turns out that his place is a shrine and Nanami has unwittingly taken over his job as a local deity. Nanami has all kinds of new responsibilities she doesn't understand, dangers she's unaware of, and a cranky ex-familiar who's actually pretty hot. What's a new fledging godling to do? Girl, I don't know what you can do. But it seems cute. I've heard really good things about it, so I'm very excited about this. Okay, so that's all I have to say. But I'm going to continue to eat and then we'll talk later when I have something to talk about. Hello family, we have reached Wednesday. Thank goodness I have two and a half days before I am off for 
I'm off all next week. Seven plus two is nine, nine days because I took off next week because my birthday is October the 3rd. Yes. Um, and I want to take a week off. So that's that. Um, okay. So with that out of the way, I only read one thing last night and that is because I edited my favorite things that I've read so far in 2020 video. It's up now. Yes, I will leave it linked in the cards for you all. But what I did read, five fucking stars. Yes. And ugh, I don't know what took me so long to read this, but man, Sweat and Soap Volume 3. It was so, so good, man. I love it so much. I love our two main characters. They're so cute. They go to the hot springs in this volume and it's everything I didn't know I needed in life and more. So that was that. I think I still want to read Kamisama Kiss tonight. Um, I'm not sure if I'm in the mood for Prince Freya Volume 2, but I'll let you know. Also, I have got something to unbox, and that is my Manga Spice Cafe box. This is the August box. So I first saw about them on Starla's channel from Starla Reads. I'll leave her channel link down below. Love her. She's fantastic and amazing. Yes, we stand a queen. I decided, I was like, yes, I want that for myself. I have big girl money. I'm going to use it how I want to. So I got it and it's now here. It took forever for some reason. It got like hung up in the post office, but that's a whole other issue. But now we are going to open it. And I believe this comes with three volumes of manga and then some snacks and a drink. I'm not gonna try the snacks now because it's during my lunch break and I just ate. But also, what I plan on doing and trying them all on this vlog, and we're gonna do a little segment that I'm gonna like to call Rachel's Snack Quarter. It's gonna be the best time ever. So look forward to that in this video as well. Also, look at my Magic the Gathering Pride shirt. Chris got them for us and I'm obsessed. I'm never taking it off again. Actually, I will, but <laughs> I don't want to. So this is what the box looks like. We got some tissue paper. So it comes with this. And this talks about, I think the manga that's included and then the snacks but also the ingredients in the snacks which is very very nice so excited about that okay let's get into it okay so the snacks are all on top so let me talk about the manga first so it comes in this little thing the first thing i see is weathering with you volume one it says in here that volume two comes out in Anu on January 19th, 2021. So this is story by Makoto Shinkai, art by Wataru Kubota. So let's learn about this together. Based on the breathtaking film, during the summer of his first year in high school, a young man named Hodaka runs away from home in the bustling city of Tokyo. Alone and exhausted, he decides to kill time in a fast food place where he meets a young woman named Hina who happens to work there. Little does he know that Hina possesses powers that not only affect the weather, but the whole world. In Weathering With You, Makoto Shinkai dives into topics like love and sacrifice to show how far one boy goes to protect the thing he loves most. This manga reveals the backstories and true thoughts of the characters who stole the hearts of fans and critics worldwide. I am very excited about this. I think this is Hina. She is beautiful. I'm very excited. Okay. The next thing we have is The Strongest Sage with the Weakest Crest, Volume 1. It looks like this. And this story is by Shinko Soto, art by Liver Jam and Popo, and character designed by Hyuka Kazabana. Let's find out what this is about because I have no idea. I've never even heard of this before. I had heard of Weathering With You, but I have not heard of this one. So this says, one man will stop at nothing to be the world's strongest, not even reincarnation. His strength limited by the magical crest with which he was born. Matthias, the world's most powerful sage, decides reincarnation is necessary to become the strongest of all. Upon his rebirth as a young boy, Matthias is thrilled to discover he now has the optimal crest. 
but the future world he finds himself in has abysmally poor standards when it comes to magic and it's up to the matthias to prove his might all over again <clears throat> this sounds interesting and then this last one the ancient magus bride jack flash and the fairy case files story by you godai art by mako okiyawa and then script supervisor core yamazaki looks like this the back looks like this which i love if you could hear something, it's the trash people. Okay, so this says, Changelings in the Big Apple. Fairy-born Jack Flash and her human-born brother Larry run a detective agency in New York City specializing in crimes committed in the hazy boundary between the human and fairy realms. They never expected to receive a letter from an ancient magus of the old world, but echoes. Careful caretaker of dragons has a task for them in all new The Ancient Magus Bride spinoff series. I'm excited about this. So then we're gonna talk about all the snacks. The first thing, Hello Kitty Strawberry Chewy Candy. That is precious. And then we have this. Um, I'm not sure what that is. What is this? It looks like Chinese. So this must be Zhao Wangzi Corn Chips Barbecue Flavor. I love barbecue, so let's hope that's fun. And then we have this. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. These are noodles, but there's other noodles in here too. Dry noodle snack. And then we actually have like these pork and noodles. I don't like pork, so maybe I'll give this to a friend. And then, oh my God, this is hefty. This is a drink. Winter honey and lime drink. I'm not the biggest honey fan, but lime? That might be interesting. I'll just put this in the fridge to get a cold for whenever Rachel's snack corner happens. Okay. The next thing we have is this. Um, I've had some of these before. Gotten these in my like Tokyo treats before, but I don't like the texture of these, so that should be a good time. And then we have these pepperol line friends filled with chocolate sticks. Those look good. So it has that guy and then it has the little bear and then the little is it a bird hugging him cute and then the last thing we have is cookies and cream thing oh man i'm so excited about that chris is not getting any of it and then that's it for that but it looks like we have some stuff in the bottom this what is this extra gift weathering with you art poster and handmade bookmark so i could read it with the bookmark that's so cool okay let's open this so here's the bookmark cute and then um this is the poster you can see her there i like it that's exciting okay so i made a mess and now it's probably time to go back to work so i will talk to you when i read something hi so now it is Thursday. I didn't read anything at all yesterday. So let me just tell you about my car. So recently had been acting up like and being weird. It like whenever I would go to accelerate it would like stall. And then this past weekend we noticed that the tires were squealing. And so we took it to the car place last night and then they got back to us this morning. Well, I needed new front and rear brakes and brake pads, new front and back rotors and a new battery. So that is great. And then also after we did that last night, we just hung out and we watched an episode of Game Nights. So it's where people play um, Magic the Gathering, the commander format, but I'm not going to bore you with that. So that's what we did last night. But tonight, I really want to finally get to Volume 1 of Kami Sama Kiss. I'm very excited about that. I just want to read Volume 1 of Weathering with you so bad. So I think I'm going to do that as well. And then also, I plan on looking at the upcoming releases on Kodansha, Viz's, Yen Press's, and Seven Seas websites to see if there's anything I need to be looking out for. So that's 
all I have to say, but when I have thoughts, I will update you. Hey friends, it is Friday and I of course have Pan Express again. While I eat, I want to tell you what I read last night. So I did end up reading Weathering With You Volume 1 and this is by Makoto Shinkai. I loved this. Volume 1 doesn't come out until January of 2021 and I'm sorry, Volume 2. I don't know why I said Volume 1. I feel like it's going to make me so emotional based on where I think things are going based on the end of this, but I do know how to explain this better. So it follows our main character and he has basically run away from his island town. He's run away from home to Tokyo and he is on this boat going to Tokyo and he meets this man and they kind of talk. So our main character needs help because he has nowhere to stay. So he goes and starts working for this man that he met on the boat and then before he goes to get help from him, he meets our um, female lead. Her name is Miss Hina, and she gives him a burger, but she worked at McDonald's, and that's how she saw him, and she knew that, you know, she had seen him around, and, like, he looked hungry, so she helped him out, and then they start to develop a friendship. It's very cute and sweet. I really, really like their friendship. Also, he finds out that she is a sunshine girl and that means that she can turn the sky into sunshine because Tokyo during this time has been having a lot of rain and no sunshine at all. So she can take the rain away, take the clouds away and make it sunshine. And man, I cannot wait until volume two comes out and I would definitely pick it up right away. And then the next thing I started, I only read the first chapter of this, Kami-sama Kiss, volume one by Julieta Suzuki. I just wasn't feeling this. We did have everything happen basically in the synopsis. Her dad basically runs away from home because of his gambling debts and the um, debtors come and they evict her from her apartment. She has nowhere to go. Meets this guy, saves him from a dog, sends him to the temple and now she's in charge of the temple and took his spot. And I just like, I wasn't like in the mood and feeling it. So what I did is I picked up volume one of Waiting for Spring and this is by Anushin. I think that's how you say that and I have this much left. I love this so far. Um, so this follows our main character Mitsuki and she is a freshman in high school. I think um, she went to a different high school than she normally would have so she doesn't really know anyone that goes there and she doesn't really have any friends. And she works at this cafe and one day these four guys from the basketball team come and then she ends up making friends with them in a very weird way. But man, I love this. I was squealing and my heart was going like, ah, and oh uh, man, I was having some good times and I have volume two. And these were not on my TBR y'all, but like TBR who, I don't know her. But I plan on reading these. My Barnes & Noble doesn't have any more volumes than that. Well, they have none. I did get those first two volumes from Barnes & Noble, but they don't have any volumes currently, which is, like, upsetting to me. And I'm not hyped about that. So, Chris and I went to Barnes & Noble tonight. First of all, we went to Book Broker, which is our local, local game store. And so the magic, new magic set officially released today. So we bought two of the commander sets. Well, he bought them. I didn't because I want to spend more of my money on fucking waiting for a spring. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to play those tonight. And then we got that. He got another box of like booster packs or whatever. But that's not the important thing. The important thing is that after we went there, we went to Barnes & Noble. They didn't have any of the new magic set out, by the way. But I did, you know, buy some manga. So the first thing I got was Fly Me to the Moon, Volume 1. This is brand new. I believe this came out on Tuesday. And this is by Kenjiro Hata. So this is basically about this guy from the day his parents named him Nasa Yuzaki has felt connected to outer space, whether he likes it or not. His efforts to outperform the space program veer off course when an accident introduces him to to Tuskasa. A mysterious girl with strange powers. Is she an alien, a mood goddess, or something else? Since she insists on marrying him, NASA will have plenty of chances to find out. And at that last sentence, I was sold. 
and that's why she's in a wedding dress. I'm very excited about this. The art will look cute. Here's like an example. I'm excited. And then I saw this volume and it was saran wrapped and I was like, what is this? It is called High School DXD maybe. It's by Hiroji Mishima. This is it. It says, I've become a devil for a busty babe. When a unpopular high school high schooler Isi Hayundo has a less than romantic encounter with his first ever girlfriend. The consequences are fatal. As he lies dying, who should come to his rescue but the prettiest girl in school, Rias Grimori. And the shocking truth she shares leaves Isai reeling. You've been reborn a devil. Now you are for me. Isai's uproarious life as a devil's minion begins here. And it just sounds great. This is a yen press, by the way. And then this one was this. So here's an example of the art. I'm very excited about this. I'll probably get to this maybe next week. We'll see. Okay. And then we're going to talk about things that I've received actually today. So I made an order off Amazon through Book Depository and I got, I was born for this by Alice Oseman. I um, have been wanting to read this and I saw Gabby from Gabby Reads. I'll leave her channel link down below. She did a reading vlog where she read Loveless, I believe, by Alice Oseman. And I also ordered that too, so it's on its way. And I was very excited about this. I don't know much about it, so let's find out together. Because you know me, I don't remember a synopsis to save my life. For Angel Life is about one thing, the arc. A pop rock trio of teenage boys taking the world by storm. Being part of the ARC's fandom has given her everything she loves. Her friend Juliet, her dreams, her place in the world. Jimmy owes everything to the ARC. He's their frontman. And playing in a band with his mates is all he ever dreamed of doing. But dreams don't always turn out the way you think. When And when Jimmy and Angel are unexpectedly thrust together, they find out how strange and surprising facing up to reality can be. I'm very excited. I read Radio Silence by her and I actually really, really enjoyed it. Very excited about this. Okay, and the next thing is a big old box. This is my Mom Bebe kit. And I know y'all are like, it's Monstax again, but like, let me just tell you, those are my fucking boys. And they make me happy. So you can skip through this part if you want. If I remember, I'll leave a time stamp down below. But if you want to see me be happy and maybe maybe cry, stay tuned. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, it has my name on it. Yes. <gasps> Yo. Look, I have a card. Monster X Fifth Official Fan Club. Mom Bebe. So today is actually Mom Bebe's fifth anniversary. So hello, this is the perfect day for this to arrive. Okay, I have no idea what's in here. I got the membership six months ago and it has finally arrived y'all the first thing i see in here is a bag a little tote bag and then up here it says the dates oh that's so cute 514 through 926 since 2015 fifth mom baby monster x university that's cute oh my gosh okay so monster x the fifth official fan club i think this is another like card because it has a spot to write my name and my birthday here's them oh my god they are cute and then it has like korean words on the back but i'm gonna have to translate but it's fine we got this oh, we got some monster x university cards of each of the members so the back of the cards look like this and then you have Show new, Minyuk, Kiki, Twin, Juhani, and I am. All of them. If you watched my first reading vlog ever, you'll know that Kihan, Kiki, is my favorite and that Hyunwon is my twin. So if I keep referring to him as twin, that's why. And then we just got these little cards. 
And then they look like this on the back. So we have Shonu, Minyak, Kiki, Twin, Juhani, and I am. So, ooh, what was that sound? So cute. And then we go like this, and I have another thing that I could write my name on. Oh, they gave me two. Cool. And then I got this. What is this? Oh my god. It is like a water bottle thing. It says Monster X University of Mombebe. Monster X 5th Official Fan Club. And has the crest on it. You'd see me through there. Hello. It reminds me of like a giant flask. That's hilarious. And then we got this thing. So I open it up. And it has them. And then it has all of their signatures. And they, yeah, it's all their signatures. So, and then we've got this thing. Did I pull that upside down? No, I held it upright. Certificate of Mombebe. It's in Korean. I'll have to translate that later. And then on the back, there's this picture of them. Cute. They look in good. And then I got this thing. This looks like a photo book. Oh, Look how cute Shonu is. Yes, king of my heart. Yeah, just pictures of them. Oh my god, Kiki and Twin are together again. Yes, my two babies. Uh, man, oh my god, and they were little messages in there. That's cute. And then it looks like the last thing I have in here is just this ginormous clipboard for some reason. But I'm sure I'll find ways to use it because it's Monster X and I love them a lot. I didn't cry, so like, sorry if you were hoping for that. That's all I had. I think tonight I'm going to finish reading the first volume of Waiting for Spring. And then Chris and I are going to play some Commander. So I probably won't read anything else. So I'll probably update you tomorrow. And Chris is going to be in the clip tomorrow. We're going to try those snacks from my Manga Spice Cafe box together. So hype yourself up for seeing that soon. Sup fam, it is now Saturday. And we are going into the segment of this vlog, Rachel's Snack Corner. With special guest, Christopher. Hey, okay. Rachel's Snack Corner. So we are going to be trying the snacks I got from my Manga Spice Cafe box. So the first thing we're going to try is this thing. It looks to be in a language I do not know. It's not Korean, but it is honey lime juice. Mm -hmm. Juice box, right? Did you shake it up? Oh, we're supposed to shake it? I don't know. Usually. Well, it doesn't taste bad. It's not bad. <clears throat> it's not overwhelmingly strong with either flavor. Yeah, which is good because I don't like honey. Okay, so then we're going to go through the rest of this. So this is pork ramen. Kayla's going to try this because I don't like pork. We're going to try everything else. Also, it comes with chopsticks mm. for her. So the first thing we're going to try, I don't know what this is. It's like noodles. Maybe we have to do something with this. She'll eat those too. Kayla, you're welcome. But we're going to try these chips from China. They're barbecue. They aren't bad. They remind me of bugles. Yeah. The texture and like the flavor tastes like bugles. I like them. Okay. So the next thing we're going to try. I don't like the texture of these things. It's like a corn rice stick. Oh, okay. How's it taste? Barbecuey. Barbecuey? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it was an experience. <laughs> I'm not into that one. So next, we're going to cleanse our palates with these um, Hello Kitty Truey Strawberry Snacks. My favorite thing about this is that it's resealable. It's true. Oh, wow. I like them. That's what they look like. Just a little nub. Got that nasty whatever corn thing that was. It hurts my tongue. My, my tongue is on fire still. Really? I can feel it right here. I like the spices. Hmm. Not into that. 
I didn't like, get like an overwhelming strawberry. I was thinking it reminded me of like the Nestle's quick strawberry mixed with like a marshmallow. Yeah. That's kind of. That makes sense. The vibe I got. I liked it. Two more things and then all for you. Um, we got <laughs> this thing. It is a oh, no. pepperon filled with chocolate. Here, it looks like pretzels. Here, I have one. Thank you. You don't like because it, it has a peanut buttery taste. I don't like peanut butter. I know, that's what I said. It's a peanut buttery taste. No, it doesn't. It tastes like chocolate. Hmm. Get a bit of peanut butter in there too. Well, I don't taste it. If I did, I already picked it up. And that was just all right. Towards the end, it doesn't taste like anything. The last thing, we, I saved the best for last. You can put it up there. Is this cookies and cream mm. thing. Like an Oreo? Yeah, or something. I'm really excited about it. Oh my gosh. I, I was not expecting that. Is it, It's a cake. Okay. Wow. That's the best thing. So I'm going to sit here and eat all of it. It's like a little Debbie. But not as flavorful, but still very good. A little less I don't, processed. I don't get the cookies and cream from it, though. So that's a lie, but it's very good. This is the best thing for me. What was your best? Juice. Juice it up. It's honey lime. It's pretty good. I'll dig it. The least best was this nasty ass thing. <laughs> I do not like. <clears throat> but. <clears throat> Agreed. That's, that was by far the worst. It is. That's the end of the segment. I'll see you to talk about reading later. Hey fam, it is now Sunday, the last day of Balm to Manga Love. And I wanted to update you guys on what I've read, what I'm reading, and what I hope to read for the end of the day. I have read and finished Waiting for Spring Volume 1. I absolutely love and adore this and I would be reading Volume 2 today but like I have misplaced it and I don't know where the, where it is. So that's something I'm gonna have to deal with myself but whatever. And then the next thing I picked up was this and this is Volume 1 of Cherry Magic and it says 30 years of virginity can make you a wizard and this is by you Toyota and so this follows our main character whose name I can't remember Adichie um his name is Adichie and he works for this company and as soon as he hit 30 as a virgin um he now has magical abilities so whenever he touches someone he could hear their thoughts and then one day he touches his co-worker Kurosawa who we also see on the cover the one with the tie that's He's very handsome, and Adichie finds out that Kurosawa has a little crush on Adichie and likes him, so that's fun. I actually really enjoyed that more than I thought I would, and I do plan on picking up volume two. Thing, I am currently reading the manga classics of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, and I believe the person that did this um, art by Post... TSE size maybe is that and then story adaptation by Stacey King I really love this if you don't know Pride and Prejudice follows our main character Elizabeth Bennett this is our home girl on the front she has a big family she has let's see four other sisters and um, she lives with her parents this is back in the olden days the mom is like obsessed with them finding husbands because she's nuts and peop, uh, Mr. Bingley comes to town and he makes like 5,000 pounds a year. Oh my, he's rich. And him and Jane get acquainted and like each other. And then you have Mr. Darcy, who's Bingley's friend. And he is very prideful. And Elizabeth has a lot of prejudice toward him based on his actions and his pridefulness hence Pride and Prejudice but like man I love this like Pride and Prejudice is like one of my favorite books of all time and the 2005 adaptation with Keira Knightley and Matthew McFadden is my favorite movie of all time and uh, I'm just obsessed so I'm reading that I'm on chapter 15 there are a total of 19 and then there's an afterward so I plan on finishing that very very soon I love it so far and then, okay, so the next thing I plan on reading is the thing I picked up from Barnes & Noble the other day, and that is High School DxD. Looks like a lot of fun. And then the last things I plan on reading today would be After the Rain, Volumes 1 and 2. All I know about this is our main character, Akira Tachibana, she gets injured, and she was a track 
field star at the school and falling for her teacher. So it is an age gap. So I'll update you when I have more things to say later. Okay, later on Sunday and I finished the manga classics edition of Pride and Prejudice. I loved this so much. I love Pride and Prejudice and I have nothing else to say except that I gave it five stars. And then I read High School DEXD about the devils. The world building is interesting in this. They talk about how there's devils and fallen angels and angels and kind of how each devil has like their own servants like if they're up based on like the hierarchy sorry this is like I don't understand this so sorry about that it's bothering me but whatever okay anyways um it's very interesting I gave it three stars I might continue I probably won't collect physically probably digitally if it is available digitally not really for sure but then I just found it I found volume two of waiting for spring i'm so excited i plan on reading this tonight and then i still really want to get into after the rain volumes one and two so i plan on doing all of that tonight i'm probably going to stay up pretty late since i don't have to work tomorrow and then i'm probably not going to update you until tomorrow and i will also wrap up the vlog then and everything that i read for manga love so i'll see you in the next clip hi everyone so it's officially monday and fall into manga love has ended. I just wanted to update you guys on what I read last night. I stayed up late, but I didn't read all the things I wanted to read, but that's fine. So, um, the first thing I finished last night was Waiting for Spring Volume 2. Give it five stars, but we'll talk about it once I do my wrap of everything else I read during the week. And then I read Volume 1 of After the Rain. I gave this four stars, but again, we will talk about it once I get there. So I'm gonna go over everything in order that I read this week. The first thing I read and finished was Ruby Volume 1. I really love this. It's just like it just reminds me of how much I love the show and I am so thankful now it's being turned into manga and hopefully more people can find out about Ruby. I love the storytelling. I love the world. I love the characters. It's so good and um, I ended up giving this four stars. So if you are interested in Ruby, definitely check it out. I 100% recommend it and I need more people to love Ruby so we could talk about it together. Okay, the next thing I read was Syrup. This is a Yuri anthology. I originally gave this a four star. I think I'm gonna bump it down to a 3.5. There were four stories in here that I really, really love and I wanna pick up the rest of the works by these mangaka um, that wrote those stories. And some of those stories were kind of lackluster, especially the first one wasn't very... Like it was okay. It didn't give as much as like I wanted maybe a couple more pages and it would have been a good short story. Okay so the next thing that I read and finished was Sweat and Soap Volume 3. I cannot believe I didn't pick this up as soon as I got it. I love this volume. I love our two main characters. They are just the sweetest in the whole world and I love their relationship. I ship them so hard. I have Volume 4 pre-ordered I believe and I cannot wait for it to get here and see where their relationship goes and how they grow and I'm just ecstatic. I love this series five stars and I believe also I've given every single volume in sweat and soap five stars hi guys this is future Rachel I'm here to tell you that past Rachel is an idiot and forgot to mention that she read Wuthering with you volume one I love this a lot I cannot wait for volume two um let's see I think it's coming out January 2021 and man, I'm so excited. I do recommend this. And also, I want to eventually watch the film. So with that being said, let's get back to past Rachel. And then the next thing I read and finished was Waiting for Spring Volume 1. I gave this five stars. And after I read this, I immediately went and ordered Volumes 3 through 13, which are out right now. Volume 14, I think, comes out soon-ish. I'm not really for sure. And I feel like that's going to be the last volume, but I'm not for sure. If you know what the last volume is going to be, let me know down in the comments below. But I love this. I love the four boys from the basketball team. I love Mitsuki. Um, I ship her into a so hard. And something happens at the end of this. We get a new character kind of in the mix. And I don't really like them. And... 
they come into volume two, which I'll talk about in a minute. And I just, I have a lot of thoughts about them. So that's that one. And then I finished Cherry Magic, 30 Years of Virginity Can Make You a Mid, uh, a wizard. <laughs> I was gonna say magician, but like wizards, the same thing. So I gave this, I believe, four stars or a 3.75 star. I really enjoy this a lot more than I thought it would. I do want to read volume two, and I believe I ordered it. I did a right stuff order last night because I can be contained and controlled. So I am very excited to see where our two main characters' relationship goes. Very excited about continuing this. Okay, the next thing I've had on. That I've had this manga on my shelf for a really long time and that is Pride and Prejudice. I love this. Pride and Prejudice is one of my favorite books of all time and the 2005 movie adaptation is one of my favorite movies of all time, if not my favorite movie. Um, I love this a lot. If you love Pride and Prejudice, I think you'll love this. The artwork is beautiful. I It still gave me all the feels. Um, let me just show you Elizabeth and Darcy. Like, look at them yes i love this so much and i believe four stars i gave this so and i do want to click the other jane austen manga classics editions that they have so yes okay the next thing i read was high school dean dxd this was weird i picked this up on a whim at barnes and noble the other day it just it's a weird plot and the, the storytelling is interesting and I do like the world and kind of how it's set up. It's That's very interesting to me. I am not in a rush to pick up volume two. Um, I'm not for sure if I will and if I do I'll probably not collect it physically and I'll probably do it digitally if it's available that way. I ended up giving that one three stars. Okay, and then I read volume two of Waiting for Spring. I love this. Five stars. Yes, yes, yes. As I said, there's a character that comes into the end of volume one and they are in volume two more and I don't want them to come in the way of my ship. So we'll see how that goes. I feel like I'm going to hate that person and I'm just, I'm not into it. Okay, so that's that. Five stars. And the last thing I read, I literally finished it 16 minutes before midnight last night, and that was After the Rain, Volume 1. I love this a lot. I gave it four stars. So this follows our main, I think I said the synopsis wrong earlier, so let's do it again. It follows our main character, Akira, and she gets injured, and one day she's at a coffee shop, and or a family restaurant, it's a family restaurant, and she's there, the manager gives her a coffee on the house, and she's like, into it and then she gets a job there and she has a crush on the manager and she likes him and he is divorced and has a kid but I do love this I own volume two I will probably pick it up and read it today okay so those are the 10 things I read during manga love I had a great readathon I loved it so much thank you Shay for putting this readathon on I will participate in all the other rounds I love it so much and you all know I love manga so that's all I have for you guys I hope you enjoyed the vlog I know it's probably gonna be really really long I haven't edited it any of it yet it's, I'm probably gonna do it today and get this vlog up either tomorrow or Wednesday um, but if you like this video feel free to give it a like and if you want to watch the rest of my manga book anime snack journey please feel free to subscribe to my channel and then you'll find out when I post new videos but until then I'll see you in another video bye